Oh, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this wonderful world. And welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Frank Zhu, and I'm a college professor teaching sociology, history, and philosophy. Well, most people know me as a professor, but some of them have little idea that I'm also an award-winning landscape photographer, traveling everywhere, taking pictures at dawn or at dusk, climbing mountains or walking on the beach. Anyway, if you want to see more of my landscape pictures, please visit my website at www.professorfrankzhu.com. Today, I'd like to talk about some of my favorite pictures that I shot during our last trip to California, which was in March 2022. The reason why I'm talking about a trip that happened more than a year ago is because of a YouTube video I saw the other day, which was about uh, the road trip along California highway number one by a YouTuber. What I saw from their video reminded me of what I saw on our own road trips on highway number one. Yes, I used the word in plural form because we have been on that highway several times. But of course, I remember the last trip more clearly. So, I searched on my hard, hard drive for the photos that I shot during that trip and said to myself, why don't you create a video? So here we are. But before I get started, I have to admit that this trip did not produce too many satisfactory pictures partly because of the bad weather and partly because of the fact, fact that I fell sick during the trip. And for the same reasons, I was not in the mood to shoot videos. So there is no video for me to use today. However, I did manage to shoot a number of pictures that I want to share with you today. So, let's look at them one by one on my computer screen and I will explain to you very briefly why I like them. We start with this sunset shot which was taken in Dana Beach. Well, Dana Beach, which is not too far from Los Angeles, is a very beautiful small town where we, we were staying for the most of the time of this trip. There are several things that I like about this shot. First, it has these three palm trees as the focal point, and with the ocean and the setting sun in the background, suggesting that this picture was most likely shot on the coast of California. But of course, people may also assume that this was shot in Florida. But anyway, um, <coughs> When it comes to travel photography, I like pictures which somehow give hints as to where they were shot. The second thing that I like about this picture is quite ob obvious. I just like uh, the colors of the sunset, which may not be so common in California because of its dry climate there. Um, that afternoon, I remember when I saw clouds in the skies, I knew there would be a great sunset shot to be taken in the evening. So I went to a nearby park which overlooks the beach and I found a good place to sit, just in front of the three palm trees, together with big crowds of the local people. I, I like this picture very much. Well, this picture was shot at a 
Joshua National Park. To be honest, I was struggling to take a good shot there. Not because Joshua National Park is not a beautiful place, but because I just didn't know where to find a good composition. Besides, it was a sunny day and I was there around the noon time. The sun was just above the head, creating sharp contrast on everything. This photo was the best I could come up with in terms of composition, which focused on the shadows of a Joshua tree. Uh, this picture was taken on my way to Joshua National Park. I don't remember where exactly it was shot. But this uh, photo suggests mountains, which I think are only common in the eastern parts of California. I remember it was quite hazy that day, making, making it difficult to shoot. Well, what I like about this shot the most are the different layers. Is it different layers from near to far away places into the skies, creating a good composition. Uh, this picture is probably one of those that clearly suggest their locations. This was shot on the coast of California along highway number one and you see you can see the winding coast along the highway. We were driving up north to San Francisco so on the way we stopped for a break and I took this shot, which seems like a snapshot. Um, the white curving waves form a sort of leading line, so which I think helps make a good composition. Anyone who has been to California and uh, driven along highway number one will know that uh, this shot was taken along highway number one. Um, it kept raining all the morning when we were driving, uh, but I do like the, the moody uh, at atmosphere in this picture. I don't remember where exactly I took this shot, which is one of my favorite photos actually. We were driving along highway number one and I saw this small hill in the middle of the ocean. So I told myself this had the potential to be a good shot. So I pulled over, walked into the beach and took this shot. I like this shot for its gloomy moody colors and especially the, the, the curving tidal waves that lead to the hill in the background. So besides its colors, uh, it is also a very good composition. Again, I don't remember where I took this picture. Oh, by the way, in order for me to record the geolocation on my pictures, I have to connect my camera to my phone. But oftentimes I just forgot or I simply didn't bother. Anyway, this is a good picture composition wise. I used a slow shutter speed to catch the waves uh, in order to show the movements and the power of the waves. Uh, unfortunately, what is missing in this picture is good light. It was a cloudy late afternoon without colors in the sky. But still, I like the composition. Well, let's look at this sunset picture, which you have already seen at the beginning of this video. This is perhaps the most favorite of mine during this trip. Again, I don't remember where it was shot, but it was uh, somewhere close to uh, the highway, which is about 20 miles from San Francisco airport. While driving, I saw the setting sun from the car window and I immediately pulled over to a back street. 
It took us some time to find a small parking lot. But that parking lot happened to be the best place to shoot the sunset, even though it, is, it was some distance from the, the beach. So I took out the camera, put on a long lens, which is a 70 to 200 mil, and took this shot. I like this picture because, first, the colors are amazing. Secondly, everything in this picture is in its right place. So you see here the setting sun and the trees and the, the, the beach are in good balance. And also the flying birds also make the picture more interesting and uh, lively. Before I finish this video, I would like to share with you some pictures that I shot on my earlier road trips in California. I hope you will like them as well. That is all that I wanted to talk about in this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.